Holy moly. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I have never, ever seen a frame like this. Look at this. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today we are going to go through some more bee barns, of course, because that's pretty much all I've got left now. I've got two non-bee barns here, but anyways, we're going to go through some bee barns. I want to go through the sage and the pink bee barns. And I just want to make sure that the, the queens are laying down in the bottom. We did find them and paint them when we moved them into the bee barns, so that shouldn't be too difficult to find them. I just want to make sure that everything's okay in there. Uh, and then I want to go through the purple bee barn and, and, and just see if, if there is a queen laying in the bottom. Um, when we moved her into the bee barn, well, when we moved the bees into the purple bee barn, we found the queen. She was dead on the bottom board of her old hive. She had just died, I think, of natural causes. Um, anyways, and we moved them in there queenless. Now, I was hoping that there was a queen that was out on a mating flight or something, that she would come back in and everything would be great. Well, I didn't find one. So we decided to take Juno's daughter from the orange hive off the back bench and smash that together with the purple bee barn. Unfortunately, after the smash and after they accepted the queen, I took the queen out and tried to tried to paint her. And when I did that, she flew away. And I'm, I'm hoping that when she flew away, she actually flew back into the front of the bee barn and that she's down in the bottom laying eggs. And if she's not, we're going to check on the frame of bees that we took from the white hive that had a small teacup in it that they were filling with, with royal jelly. So they're making a queen. I moved that frame of bees into the top of the purple bee barn. We want to see if they've actually made themselves a queen. So with all that said, let me get my veil on and we'll get started. All right, well today the plan has evolved and we haven't even really gotten started. Um, what I want to do is go through the purple hive first because if there is no queen cell being generated here and there is no queen down here, I may end up taking a full frame of eggs from one of these other two hives and putting them down in the bottom so that they can generate a queen. And the only way that I can do that is if I see inside here first. So, so the plan has changed. It's always evolving. Nothing wrong with a plan that always evolves. I guess that's beekeeping, right? Hi, girls. There we go. I guess the first thing we will do is check for that queen cell. Let's have a look. I'm not sure which frame it was. <laughs> I do know that it was one of them. <laughs> okay, we have nothing here. A lot of honey. And a ton of nectar being stored. A lot of nectar being stored. Oh, the queen cell must be the like the middle one. Hello. That is it, that is the one. We do have a lot of royal jelly. There's a queen cell right down there in the bottom. Oh, there's two of them with royal jelly. Okay. So they took it upon themselves to start making a queen cell with some of the other eggs that were on this frame. That is good. We're gonna go down to the bottom just to see if there's anything happening there. I don't think there is. Oh. The girl's working to draw that frame out. Nothing happening. Ooh. Okay. Solid nectar on that side. Oh, there's our queen. There's our queen. She's in there. She did fly back in. Holy moly. She's not a very good queen. There she is. Okay. Got her caged. We're going to give her a little mark. There we go. Now we're going to cage her. All right. 
Happiness, happiness. We're putting this back. I don't know if she's laying any eggs in there. Okay, we're gonna move, we're gonna go in one more frame over. Well, I've got girls wanting to sting my fingers. Let me get my gloves on. I see milk brood on this frame. So either Juno's daughter is getting busy and getting to work, or they're going to replace her with the queen cells from upstairs. Okay, all resources. And they are filling the gap in this one, which is good to see. It makes me happy that even though Juno's daughter flew away, she came right back in the front door. All right, now let's try to get this queen back down in the hive without her flying away. That seems to be what she likes to do. It's flying away, no flying away. Okay, here we go. There you go, she's back down in there. Excellent, excellent. Happiness. I've managed to make bees mad at me, but it's all part of the game. Okay, now we know that we have a queen there. We also know that they're making queens in this other box. So we are going to let them continue to make their other queen. See if they can make a better one. And what they've got going right now because uh, Juno's daughter is not doing very well. Excellent, your brick is now that away. All right, now the only thing I want to see in here is basically evidence that she's laying in the bottom, and then I'll be out and everything will be done. Next week, we're going to have to get through uh, Army and Navy, see how those flow hives are doing. All right, all right, all right. I think I'm going to try to lift this whole thing as one unit. That's probably going to weigh a million pounds. Queen excluder with me. Oh, goodness. All right, ladies. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Show me, uh, show me some eggs and I will be out. Please. Okay. Nothing happening there. But they are on there and they're starting to draw it out, which is good. Oh, these girls are really drawing this one out. Nice. Oh. They're drawing this one out and it's loaded with, uh, with brood in the top. I see milk brood everywhere. So the question is, do I have a queen? running around here. Now we did paint her, but these bees probably cleaned her off. So I'm going to look. We know she's in there. Oh, this whole frame is filled with milk brood as well. This whole part right here, all milk brood. Excellent. Excellent. Holy moly. Oh, I have never ever seen a frame like this. Look at this. Solid capped brood, top and bottom. I have never seen a frame like this. Holy moly. Holy moly. Why would they want to get rid of this lady? Okay, I just want to make sure that you can see this. Wow. Same on the other side. Wow. Okay. We have oh, more queen cells capped. Holy moly. Oh, just more double frames. 
Wow. Wow, and another queen cell. Okay, they are making multiple queens here, and I've not seen, I've not seen the queen, but it looks like these girls want to swarm. But one of them was a super seizure right in the middle of the frame. And I can't imagine that they would think that this queen is not performing because this queen is performing. And I don't see her in here. Okay, I did not see the queen in here. But we saw evidence that she was in here and I think they're replacing her. I saw super seizure cells in there. They were on the face of the frame. Now, I don't know whether super seizure cells work the same way in on one of these frames that they do on a smaller frame. I mean, it was right in the middle of the two frames, but maybe the bees considered that the bottom of another frame. It could be a swarm cell. Maybe these girls are gonna swarm. I don't know, but they have a lot of bees in here. They have a lot of space, but that queen that is in there is a rock star. So I'm gonna let them do what they're going to do because that means she's gonna make a daughter who's a rock star. All right, all right, all right. All right, we're going to try to move this all in one big fell swoop. Holy moly. That, that box is filled with honey. I may have a full super on there already. Holy moly. Okay, the sage hive is doing the exact same thing. Holy moly. Look at this. Wow. Holy moly, top and bottom, top and bottom, both sides. This is amazing, just amazing. Holy moly. Oh, the other side is just as beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Crazy. Okay. This frame is covered in eggs. And there's our queen. There she is. She has a little bit of a little bit of yellow left on her. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Back inside. All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure. And let me tell you, this was, this was a grand adventure. I did not expect to see what I saw in the pink and the sage hive today. Now, I was surprised that the, the, the purple queen, Juno's daughter, actually flew back in. She's a small queen. It looks like they're trying to replace her, and I'm going to let that happen. Um, but I was happy to see that she's in there and she's laying eggs anyway, so that is a good thing. But those frames of brood in the Crynock bees and in the sage, unbelievable. I took some pictures, I'm gonna put them on Instagram, I'll show you one here. It's just unbelievable. The top, the bottom, everything. Fully laid, fully capped. Several frames in each one of those bee barns just like that. So I'm very, very pleased at the queen's productivity inside the hive. Now that's the exact same thing I saw inside the green hive the other day. The green hive, they just hadn't capped all of theirs yet, but uh, but I'm sure they're capping them right now because they had uh, fully capped brood on the top, eggs on the bottom, and it's it's the same thing. These, these bee barns are great. Now, we do have a little bit of bearding out front on some of the hives today. It's, it's only 80 degrees right now, but it's humid and it's going to rain at three o'clock. So I think they're just trying to dry the honey. I've got the fans on in the hives and everything is good. Anyways, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this adventure. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. 
you have something to say, by all means, please comment. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, just take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun here. And sometimes we see grand and glorious things. Look at those full brood frames. Unbelievable. All that said, be happy. I'm happy. You be happy. Have a great day. And I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.